Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Well, first of all, Sir Terry, thank you very much for letting us come and have a chat with you as you're literally packing to uh, leave after the voyage. Well, I mean, I leave the packing to my wife because <laughs> Helen is a siege packer. And there's nobody packs as well as she does. So it's one of the reasons I married her, to be honest. <laughs> Well, actually, we have to. The first thing we have to say, of course, is congratulations. I understand over eighty-three thousand pounds has been raised on this Togs voyage. It's fantastic, but of course, you've got to take a bit of credit to Cunard for that. You've helped us enormously. The amount raised by the passengers, by the people taking part in the, the voyage, by the auction, the silent auction that went on here, has been phenomenal. It's quite extraordinary. Eighty-three thousand pounds is ain't hay and it's going to make a hell of a difference to some underprivileged children somewhere in Britain. I can tell you that. It's really wonderful. And that's what the TOGS voyage is about, and that's why I'm here. It's because uh, my TOGS, Terry's old geezers and gals, who came together under my name, eventually evolved into a wonderful um, money-making machine for children in need. I mean, over the last three or four years, they've raised three or four million pounds. So I understand amongst all of the fundraising, you have had a little bit of fun along the way as well. No, no. <laughs> no, it hasn't been fun for me. It's all been hard work. I've had a great time, yes. <laughs> we joined at Rome and then um, we, we, we touched on Gibraltar and we've had a wonderful, wonderful time, Helen and I. And hospitality has been wonderful. Emma, our butler, has been terrific. And the captain, who joined in on our sort of well, weekend Wogan thing that we did in that terrific theatre, Captain Chris, he was wonderful. I'll make them walk the plank. Go, I have go a on, plank, make somebody walk the plank. I have a plank ready. Yeah. Oh, Absolute, come on. At any moment. Volunteers. <laughs> and I believe that you and John Marsh also did another rendition of the famous Hippopotamus song. Yes. Talk, talk about beating a thing to death. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's about the only thing we can do together. <laughs> the whole thing worked very well. And I... I we had a huge crowd in the theatre. That theatre is phenomenal, isn't it? Any yeah. West End theatre would die to have their kind of facilities. Well, I remember when you came on board for the first time, how impressed you were with the theatre. It had been beautifully done. And Deadly, the old voice of the balls, carried out the auction. The worst for drink he was, of course, but <laughs> he, he carried it out brilliantly because it's a, it's a big house. Yes. It's a big house. How many? About 800 people in there. That's right, yes, over 800. Terrific. Well, it was great to get such a good crowd. And I understand you've uh, discovered the Todd English restaurant. We discovered all the restaurants. <laughs> I, I was up in the Queen's Grill, a uh, very good maitre d' up there, very nice indeed. And, uh, and then we went into Todd's. And um, we'd more or less kind of gravitated to there. Uh, <laughs> but the food is terrific. Everybody says that you put on a pound a day if you go on a cruise. And I'm perfectly certain <laughs> that I put on probably about five or six pounds. We've actually got a set of scales over here. No, no, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. So amongst everything that's taken place on the voyage, what would you say has been one of the highlights? Well, first of all, I think we're very lucky with the weather. The weather was lovely. And then, I mean, the sea does not have a particular fascination for me, but I can understand why people do. Because, you know, as, you, as we stood out on that deck and look at the sea, and we saw dolphins, which is fantastic. And I suppose that would be one of the highlights. And then as we came closer to the land, some interesting birds at Gannett came by. It's the little things yeah. that re you remember. And then we had a champagne reception for the Togs uh, the other night. And that was, uh, that was terrific. So, you know, um, that's why I came on. I came on to be with them. I came on to thank them for all that they've done. And while I'm at it, to thank you and Art as well. Well, thank you so much for being here and also congratulations on your Weekend Wogan show. I understand it's doing really, really well with some incredible ratings. Well, it is, it's, it's done very well, but I absolutely adore doing it. I wanted to do something completely different. You know, when I gave up the morning radio show, it was time. Mm -hmm. I felt it was time anyway. So I then thought, let's do something completely different. And it's the live band with Elio Pace, which is the house band who are sensational. It's been really interesting and fun to do. But coming back to, uh, to food, which obviously is a fairly popular mm. topic mm. Um, on your voyage, was there any particular dish or one item that's particularly sprung to mind? No, I ate everything. <laughs> I, ate, <laughs> I ate everything with a smiling face and drank what was put in front of me and I didn't leave anything on my plate. Clearly a chef's dream in that case. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> And we have our new Queen Elizabeth coming out later in the year, so maybe we'll be able to welcome you and the Togs back either to Queen Victoria or indeed our new Queen Elizabeth. Well, I wouldn't like to lower the standards of this <laughs> fine new ship, which is going to be absolutely wonderful, I understand. 
Queen Victoria will do me any time. People are lovely. Staff are really nice. It's really wonderful when you walk down because the cleaning staff, the waiters, everybody has a smile. And I'm not saying that in a sycophantic manner. It's one of the nicest things about being on the ship. Thanks for being here. On behalf of all of the uh, team on Queen Victoria, I know they thoroughly enjoyed looking after you and congratulations, most importantly, of being involved in raising £83,000. It's terrific and our thanks are due to Cunard as well for helping us to do, to raise that amount of money. As I say, it will make a difference to underprivileged children in Britain. Well, as you say, that's, that is what it's all about. We're glad you had a bit of fun along the way oh, as I well. Did. I did, I did. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you very friend. much indeed. Thank you, Thank you.